Okay, this is what we're making today. This is version 2 of my air fryer roast potatoes. And I'd like to give a shout out to Countryside Guy who um, gave me a heads up um, that I could use a different method. One that I've used before um, but I found a solution and boy these are so good. Right, let's get cooking. Okay, first I'm going to start by peeling these beautiful agria potatoes. Now this um, second version came about because of feedback from a viewer who suggested I parboil my potatoes for 10 minutes and then rough up the edges uh, so that they become all crispy. Now that's fine if you're shallow frying them in a pan <coughs> and I've used that method before and it's been brilliant. But when I tried it in the air fryer initially um, all the crispy bits uh, got stuck in the holes in the pan um, inside the air fryer and it didn't work. Um, so I discounted it and whilst I was replying um, to this guy I suddenly realised, well, why don't I just put some parchment paper down and, um, and that'll stop that. So that's what this version is all about. I'm going to use an old method in a new cooking system. And we'll see how we go. Come back when uh, I've peeled all of these. And there we have them. Let's cut them. Now I want these to be roughly the same size. I don't want them too big uh, because I want them nice and soft on the inside and nice and crispy on the outside. So round about this size and if you want to know what <laughs> exactly what this size means um, there you go, that, that one's oh, it's like almost too big. I'm going to leave it. So there we've got our potatoes. Um, if you want to know what size your, the potatoes are, here is a, um, a packet of spaghetti. Um, it's a normal size packet of spaghetti, so you can get some idea of the size of the potatoes. We're going to put these in a pot now and boil them for 10 minutes. Okay, so 10 minutes of boiling. Now I'll drain them and we'll buff them up. Okay, let's buff these up. All you need to do, and if some of them break apart, don't get upset. Right, I don't know if you can see that there, but they're nicely buffed up. I'm going to put them in the air fryer and spray them with some oil. Okay, now I'm going to spray these with some oil on the top. and then into the air fryer. Now we'll set these at 200 for 6 minutes. We'll give them a little bit of a shake. Well actually what I'll probably do is hand turn them and then put them in for another 6 minutes and then we'll decide where we go from there. So let's up the temp to 200. Let's down the amount. Whoops. 6 minutes. And let's go. Okay, this is after six minutes. They're starting to go crispy but not brown, so we're going to give them. Uh, I think I'm going to give them another six. 
Okay, so these are a little bit brown now, and I'm going to turn them. Gosh, they feel nice and crispy. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Right, once I've turned all these, I'll pop them back in, and I'll pop them back in for 10 minutes at 200. You see that small potato there? That's one that got it a little bit obliterated. But I decided I'd put it in there as my test potato. Right, let's put these back in. And I'll be back after 10 minutes. And there we are. They're almost done. I'm going to turn them over one more time. Give them a quick four minutes. And then we'll be back to taste them. <laughs> there they are. Those are just perfect. Right, let's get them out onto a plate and taste them. Okay. <laughs> it's almost too much, isn't it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna taste these. I feel so mean. God, they're just so gorgeous. A little bit of sea salt there. Let's just take out a little test one here. Yeah. I hope you can see that. So crunchy. Wow. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That is absolute heaven. Well, thank you so much for watching version two of my air fryer roast potatoes. These are a step up from my first one. Please try it at home. The recipe is in the description. Um, and I'll put a method in there too, so you can follow along. Um, Cause it's quite difficult sometimes watching uh, the video stopping it, watching, stopping, you know. But anyway, I will catch you on the next recipe.